Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlogs. And as always, I appreciate all the love and support. This is the part two of the video that I did previously, just before this one. And we've already got the wing installed on the car, which again, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'm gonna leave the card up top so that way you guys could check that out. But right now what we're doing is we're actually working on the front of the car. And I can't wait to show you guys what design we ended up going with on this one. What side? And of course we do have Auto Attic USA still in the building helping us out with this series of the video as well and what he's currently doing right now is removing the front bumper on my 2018 camaro zl1 and then we're going to go ahead and install the front splitter on here and we'll show you how that looks combined with the wing on there now so the front and the back is going to look amazing and we're going to get this video popping let's get it now for those that don't know when you're removing this front bumper, you want to go ahead and start out with all these screws up here. And there's going to be those little push-in clips too. So you want to make sure you have the right uh, tool to go ahead and pop that one off. And then something I did like that he did was a little uh, unique trick was he was able to actually get to that top bolt from up here without jacking up the car. And there's a special tool that you can buy uh, for it. Do you have it on your... Uh... Yes. Um, it's actually right over here. You get this from a local Home Depot. Uh, it's a metal extension i guess you could say it's not rubber i used to get a rubber ones but not anymore this will save you guys' life honestly it's bendable it is bendable as you can see yeah to a point where you can torque and unscrew the screw without even having to you know turn the tire or put it on the lift or whichever yeah. you have to do so like this could definitely save you some good time yeah sure. that was great he was able to get to all this yeah. but what we wanted to do is just make sure the inside screws nothing else is missed so we said hey you know what let's just jack it up real quick just to get to that bottom but we didn't have to do both sides or anything right, like that right. It's just a quick, easy process, but and I really like it. just gotta know though, so the ZL1 OEM bumpers though, they always come with extra screws. So the SS trimming below, it's a little bit less easier to take the bumpers off. But with ZL1 and ZL11 Elite OEM from the dealer, they just have probably double amount of screws that we yeah. have to take out on a regular SS or below. So we have to make sure we take them, we jack them up, and we get the, all the hidden screws, a lot of hidden screws underneath the bay. The bumper. The bumper, there we go. I don't know why I'm thinking yeah. engine bay. Underneath the bumper to make sure everything's good to go, so. Yeah. yeah, you can see all these screws right here. It's still nothing. I still got a lot more to go to. So yes, sir. Be good. Let's get it. All right, guys. So we already got the bumper removed, as you can see right here. Now, the splitter that we decided to go with is the APR Performance Splitter. I really love their product. I love their work. Really clean weaves uh, on the carbon fiber. Just perfect. I have it already on my uh, other Camaro where the canards, which are from Auto Attic USA. And a lot of people also, I don't want to get off topic, but a lot of people asked, how did I get the canards on there or the dive planes on there with the DRL still connected? You have to go through Auto Attic USA in order to do that. Appreciate it, man. That's no, literally the only way <laughs> to get that done. A lot of people try to do this method right here and they do it off. I don't know. I just, this is flush. It's clean. Trust me, these guys will make it happen. And then I have the APR Performance uh, wing as well. So Prime is sponsored by APR Performance. We do have our team here as well. We're sponsored by Auto Attic USA as well. So make sure you guys hit them up. I'm gonna leave the link in the description in this video and the previous video. So that way we can get this all going. Now, this specific splitter right here itself was actually provided to me by a friend of mine who changed his front splitter on his ZL1 and actually went with the APR Performance front splitter then changed the ZL1 factory and removed it which was way more aggressive for the front of the car which means this one right here couldn't fit on there and i say hey man i'm actually looking for one so he was able to hook me up and take care of me with that so i can't wait to show you guys what this is going to look like when it gets put on there and there's still another little fine tweak that we went with not just putting on a splitter like a lot of people do but we actually asked for a little request to make it just a little bit different so it looks a little more flush and i'll show you guys once it's installed whoa man oh man look at this thing you guys this is the finished product with this front splitter and i absolutely love the way the car looks now with this front splitter and that wing in the back looks absolutely amazing now for those that don't know this is the apr zl1 front splitter so there's two different ones there's the zl1 and the zl1 one le i believe there's two different kinds this one is for the ZL1 because on the 1LE, the front splitter is different. And I absolutely love, this is not my first time I've ever had a ZL1 front splitter on the car. I've had a ZL1 front splitter from APR Performance on Optimus Prime when I had the 5th gen ZL1 front bumper. And I absolutely love 
their quality, the weaves, everything. Absolutely beautiful setup. Huge shout out that I want to give to Auto Addict USA because those splitter rods that you see on there, one over here and one over there, I asked them to paint them for me in gloss black. I didn't want them to be that polished look. I wanted them to be gloss black so that way it just looked completely different in the front and kind of blended in a little bit better. Let me brighten up the screen a little. Oh my God look at that i'm telling you guys i can't tell you how excited i am with this setup i mean if that don't look aggressive i don't know what to tell you dude very nice simple very clean setup big big shout out to my boy malath who actually gave me that front splitter as a gift you know for buying the zl1 he knows how long i've always wanted to have the zl1 he hooked it up and he said hey bro this is a gift from me to you it definitely set the tone on the front of the car and again, I really love their setup because it lines up perfectly on the side of that splitter where it starts uh, with the factory splitter and just works its way around and gives it just that clean, aggressive front look on the car. Now, again, you can get this front splitter from Auto Addict USA. And at the same time, the wing in the back, you can get that too from Auto Addict USA. Matter of fact, this specific wing comes from them. Uh, this design that was put together uh, is again where it's molded right here on the side so the winglets don't fly off and the bottom legs those are carbon fiber also so i wanted to keep it clean simple nice setup i'm going to wash the car here in a second but i wanted to show that to you guys so you can see how clean that looks i've gotten quite a few compliments on it since i've had it installed and people are just like man that is just a super clean setup so all right you guys so Hopefully you guys like the new setup on Superman as we continue to build the car. Um, I do got some more cool stuff coming for the car. Uh, some little detail, fine little detail stuff that are coming as well. I finally learned how to use competition mode. So shout out to my man on Facebook that sent me a message uh, and he said, Hey bro, I know you like driving around in track mode in that thing but change it up and put it on competition mode. And again, if you guys wanna see a video on how to set up competition mode, let me know and I'll put a video on and you can see the different settings that you can actually put. It's like hidden features inside the car, it's crazy. But either way, if you guys like that front splitter, man, make sure you guys click the link down below. I'm gonna leave the information where you can get this from Auto Addict USA as well. And that back wing, you can get all this stuff from them. Uh, the coupon code is gonna be PRIME, P-R-I-M-E. And I'll leave all that information in the description down below. Make sure you guys hit them up. They'll take care of you. Big shout out to APR Performance too because they sponsor me as well. They sponsor actually Optimus with the big wing that we have on that. We have the GTC 300 wing on that car. But either way, man, I'm very excited to be sharing this content with you guys. Taking it to the track soon. I don't know. There's a track day actually coming up. So I got invited to that recently. So we'll see if we're actually going to make that or not. I think it was in September. So we'll see if we can actually make that or not. But if it's your first time on the channel, you guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. A thumbs up definitely helps out the channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like that new setup right there i can't stop looking at it man absolute blessing if you're trying to get one of these work for it grind for it you will get the car i promise you it took me four years to do it but i didn't give up and now it's here and i'm very very grateful so either way you guys know the drill a dilla bow superman right there behind me prep time chilling in the garage he's moving in soon i'm telling you actually this weekend i'm supposed to be cleaning up a little bit and getting stuff taken taken out of the uh, garage so that way we can Start moving this in there hopefully soon. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.